Hey. Um, so I wanted to explain to Adrian very quickly what uh, I feel IPFS cluster DAG sharding was and how it worked. And we spent then lunch talking about it and then it turned into a deep dive session. <laughs> and we figured out like two small details which were not so small. Um, since I have some time, I will explain it how it works. We basically want to allow to add huge things and distribute them among a cluster of IPFS demons. We initially we don't know how big the content is that we want to add. Normally you will think that you will pick this up from a URL or something, so you will just start reading things, start reading this archive which is sitting somewhere, and start adding it. And as we add it, we should be distributing it to your to your cluster of of IPFS demons. Um, that means that it is <coughs> difficult in this mode that we want to support to make assumptions about pretty much how big. Um, your DAG is and what is the best way to split it. In the future, there will be cases where we can make such assumptions and we can take the clever options, but in this generalistic case, we, we start with those, I don't know how much content, and I just need to distribute it all around. What we do is that in the same way that IPFS chunks and builds a DAG uh, as it receives the chunks. We're going to be doing the same, except that additionally to the regular DAG, we're going to be building a cluster DAG. A cluster DAG is an alternative tree, an alternative DAG, which is just going to divide the original IPFS DAG in shards. And each shard is going to be a bucket is going to be the unit, which is going to be allocated to an IPFS daemon and then replicated according to your replication factor. Questions? <laughs> uh, Johnny. Yeah. Um, in future models, I thought the DAG actually just uh, is self describing the size. So wouldn't you know a priori actually how big the DAG is? Say that again? D I thought the data model actually includes the size of the DAG. Yeah, but we don't ha in this case, we're adding data, so we don't have the DAG. We're building it as we go. But you're, you're uh, I guess, because you're clustered, so that if you add the file, you actually know how large the file is when you add it to IPFS. Yeah, so but imagine you're streaming that file from somewhere. Okay. Like if you're picking up from disk, sure. If this is a huge file that doesn't fit in your computer, you're picking up from somewhere else. You're just reading a byte stream okay. or some way. Uh, you don't know. But I suppose, I suppose actually it starts with a self-describing size to it. It's Everything is below DAG. it. It's not a DAG to start off. Yeah, we're, uh, so yeah, we're going to split the file from the very beginning or whatever data yeah. stream that we get. So okay. could there be like an intermediate step, which is like pre, um, stated size, and then when it's finally done, actual size? Uh, yeah, so the idea is that your computer is too small to actually process this okay. at all. You're just picking up from somewhere, you're adding it to cluster, it's splitting, it's building the DAG, and it's distributing the content around a cluster of places which can actually take uh, the full size and right. replicate it. Right. Yeah. Um, so the current state of how uh, lip swap sessions work, they basically always return stuff in, uh, in order, right? So in, in this graph, if I start from the root CID as a client, uh, the cluster in the middle can only satisfy the first uh, two nodes and then it has to go and ask somewhere else. And how does this mesh with what David was talking about that 
not all nodes will be in the DHT. So as a client, how am I going to find the other cluster to ask like for the stuff that the first cluster didn't return to me? It's a question for IPFS. <laughs> um, this may be, so this may be in one IPFS daemon and these ones will be in another IPFS daemon and these ones will be in another IPFS daemon. Uh, if you want to get the things from the root or traverse the tree, you will have to find... Yeah, yeah, this is my point. Uh, it seems that if you go a little bit further down, not from the root, you will not be able to find this stuff in the DHT anymore soon. So how am I going oh, to no, find no, your all, cluster? All of them are added to IPFS. Everything is added to IPFS. It's just that normally you get the root and you, you assume that everything else under the root is provided by that IPFS daemon. Ah. Yeah, because you mean because the providers don't announce other things under we'll, the root. We'll stop to announce very soon. So how am I going to... Good yeah. question. I don't know. I'm going to ask why about this. It's a good... Um, yeah, it's a good one. Okay. Um, since that is more or less clear, the open questions were while we are sharding, how do we ensure that we are filling the, the storage efficiently? How do we ensure that our storage metrics are up to date and that we are sending the shards to the right place in a way that it works and that not the shards end up in the same peer, et cetera, et cetera. And, and what are the new data structures and the things we have to carry around with them and how do we fill them in the process? Right. Are there any other questions? Yeah. Yeah, but this is just a naive question. Uh, any risk for cycles? If you're actually not managing the entire, like, state of the tree on one cluster, is there risk for reusing resources endlessly in a cycle? Mm, no, what? So, 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 so uh, it's naive because I'm like, so, uh, so you're, since you're not storing the entire state in one cluster, one node, you're separating onto different clusters and there's actually, it reference in outside the DAG that you know about, it references itself, is there a risk for cycles? Yeah, that, that cannot reference it itself because it's acyclic. I know, I know, I, I know yeah. So, so that's why it's naive, but actually, like, that, that would be... If it does that... So I, I guess this is I, more in the IPLD world. I was just worried that... Okay. It just cannot make a cycle. This will be a... This will be break other things than cluster, so... All right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.